Hey Jules Bliss Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. God, I am so glad so many people could relate to what I shared yesterday about the insanity of poisoning myself <laughs> to the point of going to the hospital. Oh my gosh, right? Um, I'm really thrilled uh, to be choosing wellness right now and it just is the better way. Um, but what I was going to say was one thing that I've also been struggling with is letting my weight go. So I was thinking back to when I weighed 328 pounds, and that's really just because I stopped weighing myself. I wasn't even going to look. It probably exceeded that. But when I finally started to do my best, I got down to 325. And then I remember I seemed to lose 10 pounds at a time. So I was at 323. And then the next time I looked, it was 313. The next time I looked was 303, 393. And then it took a while after that uh, to kind of start letting the weight go. And as I've said before, I've lost and gained 100 pounds a minimum of five times, a minimum of five in my adult life. And I remember finally it was um, two, I'm thinking, so like 1995, 96, because of course as a teacher I always think of the school year. So 1995, um, there was a Get Moving with Oprah when she came to Los Angeles and uh, she came all over. She was all over the United States trying to get people to get out and exercise and walk. And I had the courage to go to Griffith Park, which is this lovely park in Los Angeles. And um, just by chance, this deaf girl, a hearing impaired girl, needed a translator. And I was fluent in sign language. I had gotten my um, associate arts degree and a certificate in interpreting for deaf people. And so they pushed me up to the front <laughs> so I could translate for this girl. And I actually got to walk and hang out with Oprah. Not that she noticed, but I noticed. And it was Get Moving with Oprah. And... I went on at that point to lose 100 pounds that year. Like literally, I went from 303 to 208. Close enough, right? And then um, one of my biggest advocates and a person I was so fond of was my principal that year. <laughs> Principals vary, schools vary. Uh, but she was amazing for me. And um, she got transferred. And it just flipped me out. The new principal who came was a little less than lovely. And I was driving, um, it was about 40 miles, but up the 405 freeway, which in Los Angeles is crazy. And so it would take me anywhere from two and a half to four hours each way at times. I'd leave at three in the morning and I wouldn't get home till seven at night. I would cry on the way home, I would throw up in my lunch kit all the time. I'm not even kidding you. I had migraines galore. Um, so it was very challenging. And then my back gave out. I'd been in a couple of car accidents. I'd been rear-ended in car accidents. And I'd been struggling with my back, but I got to the point where I was literally crawling. I would get out of bed in the morning and I would crawl um, to get to the restroom. It would take me 20 minutes to be able to stand. And I finally had been on a cane for about six months when I just decided I don't care. They can do whatever they need to do. I cannot do this pain anymore. I will risk back surgery. I'll risk whatever. And I actually did go and get back surgery. It turned out to be miraculous. Uh, my bikini career was still intact. I have a five inch scar on my back. Um, because it was my fourth and fifth lumbar. And of course, my weight wasn't helping. I had turned around and gained a ton of weight after that principal left. Um, I remember the surgeon kept talking about how interesting it was going to be to have to cut through all that fat. <laughs> and like everybody who came in, he would say, I'm going to have to cut through three inches of fat just to get to where I need to work. He would just tell everybody that, oh my gosh. I hadn't gained all my weight back. I wasn't back up to 300. Um, I was probably more at like 250. I think I actually weighed 248 when they did that surgery. But literally when I came to, 
and it was only supposed to be an hour and a half surgery and it was four and a half hours because they found a bone chip which was literally severing the nerves in my left leg and even today from my knee to my ankle there's numbness on the left um, side of my leg uh, but they said had I waited another month I literally would have lost use of my leg so praise God they found a bone chip in there and got it out um, but anyway I was just thinking you know there's been so many times so finally 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 <laughs> after all of this and, and again that was in like 95 and then I remember when I went to interview for my new job, uh, which was in 2001, I was at 303 pounds again, 303 pounds. And that was in 2001. And then I managed to get down to 289 when I got to a new job. Finally, I ended up giving bone marrow, when it, which was in 2008. And... I was in good, pretty good shape at that time. You had to be. I mean, by pretty good shape, I mean like probably 220, right? They totally abused me and took way too much marrow. Um, they took like literally six half cups of bone marrow. I was bruised for three months. Um, in that time, my father suffered uh, some brown mal seizures. He was living with us for the nine months before he died. And he finally chose to starve himself, like consciously chose to starve himself to death. And Dale and I continued to care for him anyway, of course. So he died September 8th of that year. My um, bone marrow uh, that I gave was on August, I mean, forgive me, July 1st. So July 1st, my father was living with me. He thought it was amazing. August 1st, my father had a major seizure. seizure. August 8th, he had a grand mal seizure, and by September 8th, he was dead. Um, I tend to eat over major episodes of my life, and that got me going, I assure you. <laughs> so I went ahead and went back up again, you know? And finally, even though I had a super abusive principal, I decided that I was not going to punish myself anymore with food. So by 2014, I was down to 202 pounds, and that was 2014. I was feeling amazing, and then I ended up going through some things, as always seems to be the case, and before I even blinked, I swear before I even blinked, I was up to 279 pounds. I couldn't even do my bra. I couldn't even properly wipe myself. I, I, I was so aware that the weight was so different. Like whenever you get super fat in a very quick period of time, it's super fleshy and puffy and really hard to look at. But if you wear the weight for a while, it kind of tightens a little and it's not as obvious. I, I was at that really fleshy, horrific look. And um, that was like, 2017 uh and in october of 2017 i found tanny raw i binged watched a billion trillion of her videos i was literally hiding in bed at night underneath my blanket my husband thought i was a whack job and wondered who this chick in a bikini was <laughs> and why I was obsessed with her but she had such a fresh message and it was stuff that I had never even heard before and I wanted hope and she gave it and so I went just crazy with that and when it was time for Christmas and my birthday because my birthday is December 27th my husband asked what I wanted and I said I want to do Tanny Raw I want to talk to Tanny Raw and he was like, well, what if she's fake? What if she rips you off? She doesn't even have a degree, like all this stuff. And I said, I don't know. I just trust her and I want to talk with her. And you said I could have whatever I wanted. So he literally bought me a coaching plus two half hours with Tanny Raw. And I actually spoke with her on like January 3rd. That was the first day she had available. And I didn't take it that serious, you know? I mean, I mostly just wanted to praise her, and I did 
did, which she hated because she was like, I have a lot to cover and you really need to listen. And, and, and I don't want you to waste your time praising me when I have all this stuff and I've got a list right here and I need to talk to you about it. <laughs> and I was like, I paid for this session and I want to talk to you for a minute. And I talked to her and I told her how much I loved all her phrases and, and all of her information and her incredible jam or music jam and just all of that. And then, of course, I did get to have two additional half hours with her. But it was all so foreign to me. I couldn't quite figure it all out. And I was doing my best and, and continuing to get information on everything I could. And then finally, in um, that July, I did the first Tanny Raw Reset. And that helped a lot. And I really, really started to get it. And then... I really wanted to commit to that because it was just the better way. I'm trying to think if that's working right. Yes. Yes. Yes, that is working right. Okay, in terms of the time frame, yeah. So um, when I first came upon Tanny Ra and thought I was getting a little healthier, believe me, I was because I was a full-blown meat eater, no question, a weekend warrior in terms of binging, not exercising. And I kind of just started by changing small things, like thinking goat cheese was healthier, thinking Greek yogurt was healthier, um, eating whole vegetables, meaning an entire cucumber, an entire um, green bell pepper. Like those were things that I started to incorporate. And those were changes for me and it was okay. And then finally, after the July reset, Tani was like, you know what? You have a story to tell to everybody. She said it to everybody. Why don't you start a YouTube channel? Why don't you start an Instagram account? Both of them, I had no idea. But in September, on September 22nd, 2018, I went ahead and started Jules Plus Vegan. It was 100 days before the new year. And I wanted to be the best version of myself in the new year. And that's what I was encouraging people to do. And so that's how it went down, you know? And so this September 22nd will be two years of Jules Bless Vegan. And anyway, what I wanted to talk about mostly, though, is seemingly my inability to let myself go below 200 pounds. And I have approached it several times, like I said, you know, all the way back in 1995 at 208. Uh, in 2008, when I was just above 200. And then most recently, where I proclaimed to be just under 200, 198, panicked my head off. And that is a story for tomorrow. So come on back, friends, because I am going to tell you what's going down including my weight, <laughs> for which I need your support. Okay, like if you like, join us if you haven't, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below how I can support you. And I didn't know this would go in this direction, but I'm happy to share. And until we talk again, best of all, know that I pray for you and that you're blessed.